In the Egyptian capital, a Hamas delegation is expected to give an official response to a proposal put forward by mediators of Qatar, the United States, Egypt, and Israeli negotiators at the end of January. The proposal includes a six-week ceasefire and the release of 42 hostages held in Gaza in exchange for Palestinians detained by Israeli in the first phase. While Israel has reportedly more or less accepted the plan, the decision now lies with Hamas. President Joe Biden expressed hope for a ceasefire before Ramadan, which begins on March 10th or 11th this year. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced an imminent large-scale operation in Rafah to defeat Hamas in what he calls its last stronghold. Concerns over delivery of humanitarian aid prompted countries to airdrop supplies into Gaza as the Israeli blockade made land transport difficult. The United Nations Security Council expressed serious concerns about food security in Gaza and urged the unimpeded delivery of large-scale humanitarian aid. Recent incidents of aid distribution in Gaza have resulted in casualties, with the international community calling for an immediate ceasefire and investigation. The conflict in Gaza has resulted in thousands of civilian casualties and a looming humanitarian crisis with millions at risk of farming, according to the United Nations.